Jacob Mitchell, an Air Force veteran, captured the heart of Military City, USA. Yeah, he was alone and scared in the ICU earlier this week after suffering a collapsed lung. His girlfriend brought him here to, to the VA hospital in San Antonio, but she had to go back to work. And his mom lives in Ohio, but simply could not afford a plane ticket. Well, thanks to you and others across the country, that's all changed. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Niaves has the story. You can't say thank you enough. San Antonio, you helped me get to my son. Just days ago, Ken's Five interviewed 22-year-old Air Force veteran Jacob Mitchell. He was alone in the ICU at the Audie Murphy Memorial Veterans Affairs Hospital. After the story ran, I got an overwhelming amount of support from Military City USA. Moments after Wednesday's 5 o'clock newscast, the phone rang nonstop at the hospital. The visitor log recorded at least 100 people who dropped in to keep Jacob company. I definitely want to say thank you for everyone who came out, definitely to um, a, a Marcus. Rubio, he's the very first person that I saw, and he definitely made me feel like there is a, a, an angel with him. Also after the story, a retired San Antonio policeman who wished to remain anonymous bought Jacob's mother a plane ticket from Ohio, a hotel, and rental car to be with her son for a week. He had um, people coming from Corpus Christi um, to see him. Um, but then getting well-wishers from as far as California and even our home state of Ohio. Law enforcement, first responders, strangers were on standby, ready to fill the void until his mother could arrive. Does he need pajamas? Does he need toilet paper? Does he need toothbrushes? What does he like to keep busy? Can we bring him an Xbox? Jacob is now in the progressive care unit, still being monitored frequently. I appreciate it, what everyone has done for me and just being there whenever I needed them, and I, it's just overwhelming. The family plans to pay it forward, maybe starting a movement to help all veterans who are alone in the hospital. And I believe that doing that and giving service to the community is is the biggest thing that we could do. Alicia Niaves, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.